Welcome Gemini to your weekly reading. This is for the 20th to the 27th of November. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. Gemini, I'm going to start off by pulling your oracle cards. This is going to give us our core messages, the main themes coming through for you for this week. I will then go ahead and clarify everything further with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. Gemini, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. So let us see what is coming in for you, my dear Geminis. The first energy you're getting, Gemini, is reconciliation. And this just lets us know that there is possibility that somebody from your past will be reaching out in some way this week. This could be an ex-romantic partner. It could be a boss you used to work for, a colleague you used to work with. It could be somebody that you have fallen out with. It could be somebody that you have just simply lost touch with. But something with regards to reconciliation energy is coming through. You then have the new moon in Aries energy. It's time to take action. So you are going to be asked in some area not to sit back, not to think, not to ponder, but to take action. And we will see what that's about when we get the tarot. And finally, you have the energy of truth. And when we get this Gemini, it tells us that you are going to get a very deep understanding, a deep truth coming through. It might relate to one of our other energies or it could be in another area completely. We are going to start off here with reconciliation and I'm just going to get your clarifiers. So we just want to see now what this reconciliation energy is for Gemini, please. And we have got judgment and the world. Gemini, what I'm seeing here might not resonate with everybody, but there is somebody coming in and they are going to ask you for forgiveness. This is what I'm getting without judgment energy. Somebody is sitting with a lot of guilt regarding what has happened between the two of you. And this is the week where they're going to make some kind of contact. And it could be anything, Gemini. You could just get a WhatsApp that goes, Hello, how are you? Somebody wants to get through. Somebody wants to reach you. Somebody wants to speak to you and ask for forgiveness, let you know how sorry they are for something that has happened in the past. The world energy is coming in because it lets me know that actually this apology is due to you and you should hear it. It's something that will help you close off a certain chapter, a certain scenario of your life and really enable you to move forward. Perhaps, my dear Gemini, you are aware of it. Perhaps you're not aware of it. What we see here is whatever they have to tell you, whatever they need to get off their chest in terms of asking for forgiveness and letting you know how desperately sorry they are for what happened, it'll be in your interest to hear them out. And what you choose to do after that is entirely up to you, whether you let this person back in, whether they become a friend again or an acquaintance, your decision. The energy I'm seeing most important is how it benefits you. And for some of my Geminis, it really helps with closure. Now, Gemini, this, of course, will come through so differently. This could have been a boss who fired you unfairly or treated you very badly. 
and it's playing on their mind and they're thinking about it all the time and they just want to let you know, Gemini, I'm sorry, it was me to blame, I take full responsibility for my action. It could be an ex-romantic partner who cheated and lied and it's really not sitting with them what they have done. Let them apologize, my dear Geminis, because from what I can see, it does you the world of good. So this is the energy I'm seeing under reconciliation. Now let us move on and see what the new moon in Aries is all about. It's time to take action. Right, let us see what this energy is for Gemini, please. And we've got the Hierophant and the Two of Cups. Now, Gemini, there is great possibility that these two energies are connected. As you can see, we have the two people in our reconciliation energy and we've got the two people presenting in our Two of Cups card. Now, Two of Cups, Gemini, speaks to us of a divinely blessed, unique relationship. This could very well be a romantic love connection, but it doesn't have to be. This could be the relationship you have with a friend, with a family member, with a colleague, a boss, a business partner. It'll be very different for everybody. What is very interesting is our Hierophant coming out. Because the Hierophant comes through with the energy as above, so below. So now I understand that whatever this relationship was for you, my dear Geminis, it was a karmic relationship. This was something you had to go through. This was something you had to experience. And now by them coming in and apologizing and asking for forgiveness, they are completing a cycle for you. It is sitting under its time to take action. Because my dear Geminis, as I mentioned, I feel it'll be in your best interest to hear what they've got to say. Let them tell you how they feel. Let them apologize. And as I said, you do not have to engage with this person in any way. If you choose not to, let them say what they've got to say. And if you choose never to see or hear from them again, that's perfect. But it helps with a closure here because there was something karmic in this relationship. I feel that they had to learn something and you had to learn something. With judgment and hierophant coming out, there's big comic lessons playing out. Your role is just to take action in letting it come through. Then you can choose to do whatever you want to do. And Gemini, whatever you choose to do is the right decision because you have completed a cycle and you are able now to start a new chapter in terms of moving forward and letting go whatever happened in this relationship. So please take this in a relationship where it might resonate with you, my dear Geminis. But the wonderful energy I'm getting is that you are closing off a very big and significant chapter of your life and you're moving forward into something new and something that has great possibility because you're not carrying any of the old energy with you. Very powerful, Gemini. Now let us move on and see what the truth energy is all about and I'll get your clarifiers. So we want to see now what this truth energy is for Gemini, please. And we have got the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Gemini Seven of Pentacles tells me that this week you are going to take time out 
and consider what is going on, how you want to react. What is the best thing for you? Do you speak to them? Do you just let them apologize via email or voice message? You will take time out to consider what is right for you. This is sitting under truth. You're going to really get a deep understanding on what this reconciliation is for you and how now you are able to release and move on. With this moving on energy, closing off a cycle, we see the Ace of Cups coming in, which is a beautiful energy to see here. By you now closing off the cycle and entering into a new chapter, you are allowing the hand of God to come in with the cup of abundance. And as you can see, the cup is running over in five different streams. Whatever is about to come in now is going to fill you up on very many levels of your life. Heart, mind, body, soul and spirit. You will understand that by holding on to any energy that holds you back is not good for you. You will understand that you are able to release this completely and move on to something far more fitting and suitable for you. This is a very significant week, my dear Geminis. Let us move on now and see what your angels would like to share with you. Right, let us see now what Gemini's angels would like to share, please. And you have got perfect timing. What a lovely, strong confirmation coming through from your angels. They want you to know that this energy, this person reaching out this week is happening in perfect timing. It's time for you to let this apology come in, for you to put an end and close off a chapter of your life so that you can move forward into a new beginning that is brimming over with possibility. So my dear Geminis, that is all I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I'm sending you all so much love.